Here. And Supervisor Moss? Here. Supervisor Johnson? Here. And Supervisor Bishop and Supervisor Watson are not present. All right, we have a quorum. Thank you. Everybody will join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, we have a one item agenda. Uh, do I need to call to the public? No one signed up, no one's here. Uh, first item, we have a motion for discussion. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Discussion from the members. I've read the letter, Supervisor Johnson, and I believe it's appropriate and um, I'm fully supportive of the, the communication to our legislators. Thank you. I had them put up just for the record, if we can put it up on the board, I know you, you folks probably can't see it unless you're on your computers, just to go over what the hits are to Mojave County and to the uh, counties in general. Uh, Nathan, can you place that on the screen? And, and this is for people who want to you know, read it later. It, it shows that, uh, and, and these are the impacts that we've had, uh, I believe, since 2008. And it shows the HERF funds, uh, Oh, uh, this is just this year's. Just, just this year's is what we have up there now. But the total estimated fiscal impact, especially if we include this year, uh, since 2008, is going to be 417 million point five. The hit to Mojave County, uh, where they show the 776, and they have the elimination of the county revenue. To Mojave County, that's $550,000. So that puts us at another million and three, which puts us over $13 million in that amount of time. Uh, I believe wow. last year we only took in, in uh, general fund from the property tax, $28 million. So you can see that, you know, we continue this way, we're going to have a complete year loss of property tax revenue. Uh, for those people that are listening, Mojave County has, has done a good job when, when the other counties and cities were laying off people. We did no layoffs. We, we did it through attrition and not filling vacancies. Uh, during that time, while other cities and counties weren't able to keep up with their computers and vehicles and everything, Mojave County had a plan in place that we've kept our, our vehicle fleet good, our computer fleet good. We've kept our employees with the necessary equipment that they need. Uh, we've kept up our buildings, even adding new buildings. And the last time that Mojave County had an increase in their taxes, I believe, was 2011. And that was not even 1%. It was like a 0.9, I think, of the total revenue in that came in. Um, the state continues uh, to overspend their money. Uh, they've mortgaged the Capitol building. They sold the lottery. They continue to come back to the counties every year for more and more money. I mean, if this was a regular person, we'd put them in receivership. We'd have somebody taking over their money. The courts would have stepped in a long time ago and, and said, no, you can't manage your, your own money. Uh, they sit down there at the legislature passing bills and arguing over you know, uh, new legislation while the, the primary goal should be balancing their budget. Uh, these goals, we continue to take on uh, what they're asking us today, just for the people that uh, haven't seen it. They're requiring the counties to pay 25% of the Arizona um, juvenile cost budget, 17.5% um, of the Department of Revenue's budget, uh, the 1% cap on liability shift, which basically affects school districts, not us, and the elimination of Mojave Pinal Yavapai lottery revenue, which is an additional 550000 as I've already said. Uh, these don't go away either, because every year they just add more to them. If, if they were saying, well, we have to have a million dollars this year. You guys find where you're giving it to us, and we gave them a million dollars. At least they wouldn't continue to take from the revenue they already are, because as times get better, I don't believe they're going to give us our money back. Uh, does anybody else have anything to say? I think you summed it up, Supervisor Johnson. All right. Uh, is there, oh, and, and I guess going along with that, one thing I did forget, one of the biggest things sitting down there on the state is the $1.2 billion they owe to our schools. So it's not going to get be getting better in the future. All right, do we have a motion? I move that we approve the proposed letter. I'll second that. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? 
Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed, same sign. Motion carries. We are adjourned. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. Roger Johnson. Yeah, I want to battle some more, but are you going Lincoln Day dinner in Hampton? You're like, I is going.